Hi everybody, my name is Yasser from the Amazing Vlog, Yasser's Thoughts and Everyday Talk, of course. I have here Miss Lenny McLeod from the X Factor. Hi guys, and whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very starstruck right now because I always wanted to meet her. When, I, when she came up seeing, you know, seeing the first time in the audition, I was like blown away. My dad, by the way, he's a yeah. teacher. My dad, he doesn't, he doesn't watch t um, like the X Factor all the time. Hi dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad loves you, right? and, Thank what, and he actually contributed to the second Whitney. Wow. And my dad, my dad knows about music. He's a musician as well, so it's really hard for him to say that stuff. So. That's really cool. no, that's amazing. So, uh, tell me your experience with this whole music industry. How did it start? How did it go? Got this thing from heart. Everything. Just tell me everything. Well, I mean, I'll tell you everything in a couple of seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've been singing since I could talk. Um, and I kind of get inspired from the Motown uh, sound back a uh, hundred years ago. <laughs> and um, I've just always been trying, you know, recording. I was a dance artist, and so I had a lot of um, success in that, that market. And I, I kind of came out of it in 2004 and, and just started diving into my family and, and this kind of thing, raising my kids. I have a bunch of those. And, um, and then my sister talked me into going to the X Factor, and I thought, oh. Maybe I'll give it a go. They, I still have this passion. I really want to do it. I tried my whole life to get there. And so let me just try it. And so I did. And I'm so glad I did. Because I, I found the type of music that I want to sing that really moves me. I, um, I understood more about myself as being more of a storyteller than, yeah. than anything. And uh, since then, I've been working on my CD. I have two songs out now on Amazon. Uh, or you can go on YouTube and see one of the videos. Yes, of course, tell my pop uh, The video is called What About the Beautiful Children on YouTube. And it's also for sale on Amazon and, and iTunes and all the digital media. And the new one is called The Other Part of Me. And these two songs are special because the first one was for Care Care Institute yes. for children with you know uh, nervous conditions. And, wow. stuff. and the second one was just my dedication to God saying thank you. You know, here's Amen. the other part of me, right? And, and uh, the CD doesn't have very much, it's quite different from the two that are out. Uh, but I still want you guys to go and support Lily, definitely. Well, Lily, I have a question for you. Who inspires you to sing every time you get on stage? I want to know who, what does Lily think? Who who speaks to Lily? What's that passion behind? Because when I see you, yeah. your eyes your eyes sparkle. There's passion there. I feel Thank like you're you. talking to me. And I am. Yeah, I, feel I like you're am. You're talking to me. So that, I, I want to know what's the reason behind that. that who is you, the reason? You know what? You feel me. You really feel me because the reason is the people and the children especially children, I have a passion for children, and I'm motivated by, um, by God, I really am motivated by God, I believe that, um, that I, I have to carry on, what he, I, I believe I have to carry on what, what Jesus was doing, you know, and it didn't, I, was, I didn't always feel this way, I mean, I kind of came into this as, as you live, you come yeah. into your own understanding of who you are, and so now I have this passion to talk about love, and to talk about uh, you know, facing problems and the differences, and like I was singing that song earlier. Yes. No matter what you are, ugly, black, fat, skinny, polka dot, one eye, no nose, I don't care. You're so beautifully designed, and you got to understand this because that is what like totally pushes you. So, my passion every time I get on that stage, depending on what I'm singing, I, I hear the story, and I'm talking to all those people that can relate to that story because. Because hear me now, it's going to be O freaking K. Okay? Oh, I like so I wanna, K. I want people to understand that, you know, the, that they have such power inside of them and God is so real and it's not, it ain't that difficult. You can come over it doesn't matter what it is. Amen. And that's what, I, that's what motivates me and my son so and you know what? I feel that too. I'm like, she does have to have a gospel background because it's just too, it's too obvious. <laughs> you know what? Even it's gospel, but it's also like, like the Motown sound, like yeah. um, what's the name that group? People all over the world. Uh, oh, James. Oh, James. Yeah, I mean, back then, um, Earth, Wind, Fire. or Earth, Wind, and Fire had great songs that are positive energy. Um, energy yeah. Even, even uh, uh, Jim. 
J O V I. Giovanni, Giovanni. I don't even know the name of these people. <laughs> it's called Living on a Prayer. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Living on a Prayer. Yeah. But if you listen to these songs, or Whitney Houston's I Look to You. Yes, Whitney. Oh, uh, yes, that song. Or, yeah. or Alita Adams' Get Here If You Can. Um, anything that Michael Jackson ever sings. Yeah. Everything. It's, it's something about positive energy. So when, when I say gospel, I mean the truth yeah. about what you're dealing with and who you are and this and the other. And that's what my album is motivated on. And that's awesome. It's just it's, it's a gospel background, but it's motivated on just don't let anything steal your joy. You, no one can rock your boat but you. You're the only one who accepts that. Like you're, as a person, yeah. the only person who like the only way you can have a bad day is you accept that exactly. situation to, for you to kind of stop having a exactly. bad day. Exactly. And that's I, me myself. I let, I'm learning how to do that because as a person, we have to grow. I never understand that. Like, under, like we have to understand we have this levels in our lives. We have to keep going up and up. And one of those levels is that don't let no one mess up your day. It's you can't you. let anybody mess up your day. And, and I tell you, when I was singing that thing earlier, I never got to the second verse. But in the second verse it says, some say, some say I'm a bad girl, cause I, and they say I don't know Jesus, because I'm breaking it down. Cause I'm, I'm jamming. <laughs> so if I break it down, it, it, what, does that mean I don't know Jesus? Or because, oh. because I have on a short dress, I don't, know, I don't know Jesus? Or because, you know, like, yeah. I, I, I love Jesus too. One, one guy had me dying laughing. We got a gay friend. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't understand. I do do gay pride shows. I do. You do? Right? And, there, and then some people. I have a pop question. Know. What do you think about We have be to be honest. Be honest. Listen, be honest. my friend, this is what I was telling you. My, I told my friend, I want to be singing for the Lord. I want to be singing in church for New Year's. That's what I want to do. So it's turning down these jobs left and right. This age, you know, left and right. And then finally he says he's an agent. And he writes me, text messages, and he goes, but you can sing here. He goes, gay people love Jesus too. Right? I thought that was the funniest thing I have ever heard. I laughed so hard. I had to call him back and go, okay, I'm going to come and do this show. <laughs> yes. So, you know, I just love people. I love music. And they motivate me to just that well, my community loves you, and we love what, we, what you do, and no matter what, like I always say, Jesus loves all, and I, I stick with that, and now, um, now yeah, thank you, Lady McCall, for everything, I just, I'm like starstruck, I can't even think right now. Listen, <laughs> go and download a song. Yes, this I will. what I need, and, and for you, you fans out there, and, and my angels out there, I'm the same Lily, which is Lily Nicole McLeod, and I had a huge record that was like really spinning in the clubs, and it's called Don't You Want My Love. Don't You Want My Love. So you looked that up online, and like, yeah, yeah. it was down to oh. yes. I was like, yeah, it's yeah, baby, I will. But they still jam that, that song, and you know, anyways, thank you so much for having me. You're here. I love your energy. God, so thank cool. you very much.